All right, well, it is Christmas time and it's time to be thinking about gifts and gifts can be very expensive. So I am going to do some thrifting and bring you along and then share a haul of some things I found as friend gifts and neighbor gifts, but just some things that can make sense to buy that are affordable to buy secondhand and re-gift. So when you're out thrifting and you're thinking of buying gifts, think of containers that you can put items in. Tins and little gift boxes are always so fun to give, especially when they're cute, wintry, snowmen, Christmassy, because oftentimes people can reuse those for themselves to store things in or to re-gift as well. So I like to just look at all the Christmas stuff um, and take a glance over and even finding some cute little outfits for little kids. These would be really cute for a little baby to gift for a friend who's maybe going to have a winter or Christmas baby or just to give to a little kid. Socks. I have found socks that are brand new that I have gifted for Christmas and I think those are fun little gifts to give or as little stocking stuffers and again more tins can't go wrong with 25 cent tins that are really cute so little knickknack things like ornaments if you're into the santas you could gift a santa in a gift box with other items you could gift a snowman just little um, decorative pieces that they could put around their home even these little sleighs would be really cute to put some lotions in, hand soaps, a candle, something like that to a friend or um, family member. You'll see in my haul, but ornaments are a great way to dress up a package. If you put an ornament, hang it on a package with a bow, that's fun to gift to somebody. And there's some really cute ones out thrifting. Um, I just was looking at these signs because I thought they were fun, not particularly that you have to gift them, but it's just fun to look at all the Christmas decor. really fun gift would be to give a Christmas towel, a Christmas themed towel, um, kitchen towel or bath towel, give a soap, give a mixing spoon and a um, cookie mix of some sort, just something of that nature and that would be a fun well put together gift that would be fitting for the season. like to look at blankets but these were a little expensive for what I was hoping to get and you could gift blankets but I was actually just looking personally for myself this vintage looking stocking would be great to fill with um, different items to gift or just to give along with another item and then I like to look at the vintage pieces. This heart I found, um, not exactly sure if it is real and vintage or not, but it's really pretty. Jewelry would be good to give as a gift to a friend who really likes dressing their outfits up or to nieces that I may have who enjoy jewelry. And Christmas plates, cups, platters, you can always give cookies in those, you could give a hot cocoa mix in a mug, um, whatever that fits for that person. And I just was looking at some other of the Christmas balls and ornaments. And then found this really cool Ralph Lauren mug that I regret not picking up because it would have been a fun mug to give to a friend of mine. And then I was just looking at some clothes as well, not particularly as a gift, but all the jean jackets because jean is really back in and it was fun to find some nice ones at a thrift store. I 
always take a peek at the kids clothes for my kids or for friends who have kids because thrifted clothes there can still be some really nice pieces out there that you can gift to others or use for your own children or grandchildren some of these boots i looked at were in really nice shape they just were not my size um, nor were they anybody else's size who needed any boots but shoes would be a good thing to look at especially these black ones they had the tags on them so you knew they were never worn so if you can find shoes for your kids or um, even for a friend who may want shoes or yourself so i have my little pile here and i'm just going to mention that some of these are not gifts they are just things that i found thrifted at this small town thrift store that has amazing prices so I'll start with some clothes piece first. Of course, I had to find an ugly Christmas sweater when they're only $3. It is the Merry Christmas brand. You cannot pass it up. I think it's an XXL, but isn't that just so fun and it jingles. So we take an ugly Christmas sweater card picture every year. We haven't taken it yet and I'm a little behind because I took it uh, last year, end of October. So um, my husband can wear this one, which will be great, or one similar to it, because I have a few more. But $3 is fun to have. And you know what, I could wear it with some leggings and it'd be super cozy to wear. Or you could gift it to somebody as like a prank joke or something. In the clothing realm, for my little daughter, I thought this was super cute for a dollar. I could not pass this up. It is the Geranimals brand, and I could even give that to her for a Christmas gift. And it's in pretty good condition. Maybe just get rid of a few of the pills that are there, no stains. And so clothing, if you have children, find clothing secondhand and re-gift. Or if you know a friend well enough or family member and you know their size, find thrifted and re-gift it. All right, so pillows, pillow covers. If you know someone's style and decor, this would be great to give, um, maybe even as like a thanks end of Thanksgiving gift so that you can have them decorate their home for Christmas because pillows can be super expensive. Pillow covers can even be pretty expensive. I could use this in my own home, but I have one similar to this in my cottage and this is not quite my style in my house. So I think this would be a great gift for a friend who I know loves checkered and plaid, and it was $1. All right, last little clothing piece for my little boy, this retro snowsuit. Now this will not be a Christmas gift. This is very practical. And it even has little mittens. Ah, I love it. So this is an amazing snowsuit for $3. It is the kids in fun, definitely like retro, but you know what? It's so cute. It will work. Um, it's a little bit big for him, but hey, it keeps him warm in the winter when we're out sledding with the girls, when we're out pulling the sled, out walking. That's all I'm asking for. And it's just adorable. I love this flannel. So warm on the inside with the flannel and fleece and the mittens are attached so you can't lose them. Just gonna be a wonderful little piece to have for my little boy. So something I like to do is create gift baskets for friends, family, pastor, um, UPS man, FedEx guy, and sometimes I'll put cookies in and then sometimes I'll add a little special touch. And what better way than putting on an ornament or if you know like a friend who loves music put a little music ornament on there so this little snowman ornament was 30 cents and this music one was um, with this trumpet was 75 cents so you know if you add little ornaments to an outside of a gift or put it in with a little note on some cookies it's just more special to have that as well and then you could even put like to and from on the back if you want so they remember who they got it from but little ornaments are a great way to add a special touch especially when they're less than a dollar so this little vintage type piece i'm not exactly sure what it's for you all let me know okay because it's either a cake pan or i'm not sure because it has holes all over and maybe it is just a decor piece but this would be fun to put 
like a cookie mix in or something of that nature, especially when it's a dollar. Um, I thought this would be a fun little gift for my friends who like vintage, antique, copper type pieces. Or if I don't think of anyone to give it to, I can put it in my own home. But I think this would be a fun little gift to give to a friend. And for a dollar, like I said, very affordable little gift. I cannot pass up baskets when they are one dollar. Fill this with some Christmas material, put in a handmade candle, put in um, some cookies, put in a gift card, put in some fun Christmas socks, and you have a gift basket. Put in some fruit. I mean, that's always good too because it's edible, but find a little basket. It's a little worn on the outside, but I thought this was looked like little cookies on the front and you could just use this to give for Christmas time. So collect those baskets from thrift stores, garage sales to keep for regifting for Christmas time. They just make a lovely um, touch because it's not just in a gift bag. You thought of using a nice basket that someone else might want to reuse as well. And especially when it's a dollar. Again, can't pass that up. One of my good friends loves the Corel wear. 75 cents a plate. So I will be giving this to her in a little gift basket. Um, I'll probably put the plates in with a homemade candle with some... I'll put the plates in with a homemade candle, with a gift card, with some canned goods, with some cookies, um, just to know that I care and appreciate my friend because when she's looking for something and I know she's been looking for something, why not, if you find it, snatch it up when you pay at 75 cents a plate. All right, candles that are brand new. Snag those up. This was actually free, I'm thinking, because they weren't going. So um, a couple of these older looking candles. This is the home interiors. This is cranberry scent. And then there is a cherry pie scent. Throw these in a gift basket. People burn candles like this all the time. I am one who, I don't use scents in my home other than like beeswax or essential oils that I've found. But these are good to give or re-gift as a gift, especially when they're brand new in the box. Not Christmas related, but super cute. This pillow, there were two of them if you saw that. This was a dollar. I could not pass this beautiful pillow up. I could also cover it with a different pillow cover each season and have the longer pillow size, the 12 by 20, but that oh, was so cute. I probably should have bought both of them, but it's just very my style. Neutral with those gourd-like pumpkins. And again, like I said, $1. Or if you know someone who loves fall, I mean, you could even throw this in as a gift. Pillows can be expensive otherwise. Just a few other things that you could find thrifted that you might want to re-gift if someone's looking for something in particular like um, a bowl and fill that with some fruit or if you find some candles that are um, not like that or candle holders and you know people enjoy those, find a stocking and fill that with some um, gifts and other things like that, uh, more ornaments, I don't know, just lots of different things you can find secondhand that you can re-gift. And with the way the economy is and how expensive things can be getting, I highly recommend you do some of your Christmas shopping secondhand. I think people won't mind if it is well thought of for them to fit their style and if it's something you really um, Think that they will like and that you tried to coordinate for their person in their style. Well that's my thrifting and my thrift haul for Christmas things. I might have more because our charity rummage is coming up next week and I'm hoping to make it so I may be doing another thrift haul which I feel like I've been doing lately but, but you guys enjoy those. And yes, my little guy is excited as can be right now. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me and maybe getting a few ideas for your Christmas shopping to find affordably. Have a blessed and wonderful day and I will talk with you in my next video.